Hey drummer friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are taking a look at the Soyuz FET-13 small diaphragm microphones. In my application, I'm gonna be using them as drum overheads, but you can use them for a variety of different applications. Quick shout outs to anyone who's followed the channel in the past 30 days. We just reached the 1,000 subscriber milestone, and that is huge. I appreciate all of you watching the videos. Soyuz is a company that I'm not too familiar with. From what I understand, they mainly work in Russia, and they also operate out of the United United States as well. So I'm very new to this brand and we're gonna see if they're really worth the $13.99 price tag. So we're gonna see how they hold up as drum overheads and I'll let you guys hear both processed and unprocessed versions of overheads along with a fully mixed kit with the microphones. This is a sponsored video. Here we have the box for the microphones. Soyuz is the company, the logo, the 013 FETs. These microphones are the FET model. They are not the tube version, which they do sell. It is significantly more expensive for that pair. I will have an affiliate link over to Sweetwater down below in the video description if you wanna pick these up. Now I'm gonna be doing this right here on camera, so we're gonna bear with me as I try to do this in reverse. Here we go, you open it up, boom. We got a little card here, very nice. If I could ever get it out. It's like we have a little information about the engineers that craft these mics. Frequency response chart, registration card, two stickers, information about the company, and a little booklet. All right, that's the boring stuff. Let's get to the real deal. Once you get the card out of there, you can see it's kind of just sitting in here, this little wooden box. This is a nice touch. This just screams quality. Here we go, the great reveal. Beautiful. So we got the two mics here. We have some clips, adapters, depending on which kind of mic stand that you use, which threads you need. And I think these are, yeah, so this is a, a pad. Typically on microphones, you'll have a pad switch. This you actually have to unscrew the microphone capsule and add this on. Definitely cool. That seems more reserved for higher end microphones. I'm a drummer first and an audio engineer. I wouldn't call myself a pro second. I'm not gonna be as technical as other YouTube channels about this mic, but we're gonna see if they're a good application for drummers who wanna upgrade their overheads, maybe for YouTube or Instagram videos. But yeah, let's take one out of the box. They just look so sick. So you got like kind of a cream color with gold capsule on the top and the logo here. Everything feels really, really solid. It's heavy too. This is heavier than my WA84s for sure. Let me grab one. I love these mics too. These are great. I think the warm audios retail around seven, 700 something, but the weight difference, they are a lot heavier. It's a lot thicker. It's hard to show on camera, but they are definitely thicker and they weigh a lot more. Like I said, typically when you use a pad on a microphone, you're just gonna switch it on. But for these, we have to actually physically unscrew this top part. So we have that, we grab the pad and you can see the inside if, if you want. Grab the pad, let's put it on. We just screw it on. Real smooth and easy to do. We put the capsule back on. So there you go. It's a lot longer now. For my applications, I think I'm gonna keep the pad on. Cymbals and drums are loud. So the clamp here, the base of it, this part is, is metal. It feels metal at least. And then this top piece is plastic. So they just sit, boom, right like that. Now you just gotta get it on your stand. Now, I'm gonna take this off because never take your mic and screw it on with the mic on. I mean, that's just amateur hour. And these are fairly expensive. They are priced at, I believe, $13.99 at the time of recording this video. So you will have to throw down a bit of cash to get these. If you're coming from a more budget level set of overheads, you're probably gonna notice a big difference. And hopefully we'll hear that today in the video, just in general, that these are gonna be great professional sounding drum overheads. I was reading some reviews on these before. I can't remember where I read it, but somebody on a forum or a YouTube comment was saying that they actually prefer these microphones over their Neumann, I believe, KM184s. It might be wrong on the exact mic, but it was a Neumann small diaphragm condenser. So we'll have to test it out and see how they sound. I'm hoping for a really flat and smooth sound in the top end, but hopefully not too much mud in the mids and good definition in the low end. 
So a couple notes about the test. We are in an untreated basement down here. The ceilings, I can touch the ceiling pretty much. Like I'm at the air vent. We don't have tall ceilings. We're gonna be using obviously our overheads and I'm gonna have kick mic, snare mic, tom mics. We'll blend those in, but first we'll just listen to the overheads with no processing. The interface I'm using is an Apollo 8. So we'll do a sound test of unprocessed overheads only. Then we'll do processed overheads, unprocessed all mics, and then processed with all mics. I'm gonna jump over to the kit now and we'll take a listen. So hopefully that gave you an idea of how the overheads sound. They're really flat and clear, and the, the high end is really smooth. Normally in a lot of overheads when I'm doing YouTube videos or Instagram covers, I'll notice that the high end, like around four to 5K, typically is really, really harsh, even sometimes higher than that. And it seems like these you can really shape with EQ and not have to worry too much about cymbals being so, because there's a lot of frequencies with cymbals. So naturally it's just, they're gonna be harsh, but having overheads that are really smooth in the top end helps make a more pleasant sound to listen to. Realistically, you could use just these for videos, maybe even just a kick mic, and you'd still get an amazing sound. Compared to the WA-84s, I think you could go with those and you would still get a great sound. If you want to take it one step further, the 13s might be a good option if you have the budget. The design of the mics is incredible. I really was blown away when I saw them and felt them and now I'm hearing them. They really truly deliver on their products. I'm excited to see what else Soyuz has to offer. This is all I've looked at so far, so I'm fresh to the company, but it seems like they make great quality microphones. So that is my review of the Soyuz FET 13 stereo pair. If you want more information about the microphone pair, head down to the video description. I've got it linked over to Sweetwater where you can pick one up or check out what other people are saying. Thanks again, guys, for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you all in the next video.